Based on beliefs or not, the paranormal has been a big part of just about every culture in the world. A good number of us have heard stories about cursed objects like houses and dolls. Today, we look at five cursed images found on the internet. What would you do if you realized your highly prized painting is possessed? Number 5. Anguished Man the eerie oil painting known as The Anguished Man was painted by an unknown artist and is said to cause paranormal activities. It is rumored that the artist mixed his own blood into the paint and committed suicide shortly after completing the painting. In 2010, a resident of Columbia, England, Sean Robinson, reported strange activities in his home that he blamed on the oil painting and set up a camera to share the incidents on his YouTube channel. The first video that comes with the main story was uploaded in December of 2011. According to his story, when he was a young boy, he saw the odd-looking oil painting in his grandmother's home and was drawn to it by a mysterious force. He was always told by his grandmother that the oil painting felt sinister or troubling. She claimed to hear voices and a crying whenever the painting was displayed and would see a shadowy figure of a man, which is why she locked it away in the attic where it stayed for 25 years before Sean inherited it. As soon as Sean took the painting into his home and put it on his wall, the paranormal activities began. Sean, along with his wife, reported they experienced strange noises and visuals like screams coming from nowhere and nightmares and doors cracking in the middle of the night. At one point, Sean's son was pushed down the stairs and his wife felt something stroking her hair. They also reported seeing the shadow man. Sean decided to set a camera overnight to try to capture some of the creepy events on tape. His video on YouTube shows slamming doors, rising smoke, and the painting falling off the wall for no reason. Frightened by the events, he soon put the painting in his basement where it was again stored for a long time. According to a recent email Sean sent to Dread Central, he said the painting is locked away in a secure location and is not for sale. He added that all other paintings appearing for sale online which claim to be the anguished man are frauds and no one should buy them. According to Sean, the painting is dangerous and it would not be wise for anyone to lay their hands on it. Several paranormal TV series and investigation teams have studied the mysterious painting and it has been mentioned as one of the top five most haunted items in the world. Number 4. The Curse of the Crying Boy Painting A mysterious series of house fires were brought to the attention of the general public from 1985 onwards following the discoveries that, in these cases, the buildings and all of their contents were completely destroyed apart from a painting, The Crying Boy, which remained undamaged. Forty to fifty such cases were recorded in the years that followed. It became known as The Curse of the Crying Boy. These unexplained occurrences even made headline news at one point in the British newspaper, The Sun. The painting itself is a mass-produced painting by the academically trained Italian painter Giovanni Bergolin, also known as Bruno Amadio. The painting was widely distributed from 1950 onwards, featuring a boy who stared straight out of the picture with tears welling in his eyes and rolling down his cheeks. There were several stories behind the legend of the painting, but one that stands out, if not for the story alone, reads as follows. Bragolin met a young boy after he fled to Spain soon after the end of World War II. The boy was a mute orphan who had seen his parents perish in a house fire during the war. He adopted the boy even after being warned off of doing so by a local priest. The boy, locally known as the Devil's Child, was the center of many mysterious fires that broke out wherever he went. Bragolin refused to believe such stories and the new family lived easy, with the painting selling very well. Unfortunately, one day Bragolin found his home and studio burnt to the ground. He blamed the boy for the incident following the priest's warnings and kicked him out of the family. The orphan boy was never heard of again until years later and surrounding another bizarre event where a car smashed into a wall and burst into flames. The driver was horrifically burnt to death. Among the burned items was an untouched driver's license and the name on it was Don Bonillo. It is said that all of Bergolin's paintings of the crying boy were cursed by Don Bonillo's memory. However, facts about his story are not fully confirmed. Bergolin died in 1981 along with the truth of this story. Number 3. The Portrait of Bernardo de Galvez Born in 1946, Bernardo de Galvez was a powerful Spanish military leader who aided the American colonies during the Revolutionary War. 
The city of Galveston opened an amazing hotel and named it after him in the 1900s. Naming the hotel after Bernardo de Galvez would be meaningless if a huge portrait of him wasn't on display within the hotel. And this is where the mystery begins. Ever since the hotel was opened, guests would complain about this portrait. You can find the magnificent portrait of Bernardo de Galvez at the end of the downstairs hallway. The guests would say that when walking past the painting, his eyes wouldn't stop following them, making them a little bit creeped out. Over the years, the hotel and the painting started to get a reputation. Since the hotel is built in the honor of the great Bernardo de Galvez, the painting would not be removed. The unexplained occurrences continued. Some people came to think that it was the hotel playing tricks on them. There were reports of people feeling very cold and uneasy of standing too close to the painting for a period of time. Eventually, people started to realize that when you take a picture of the painting, it's always out of focus, or some mystique mist gets in the way. A paranormal investigation team snapped a picture of the infamous portrait, but the picture was marred with a skeleton image. Perhaps they forgot to ask the long-dead Bernardo de Galvez permission before taking the photo? Apparently, a guest at the hotel discovered that you had to ask permission of Bernardo de Galvez politely to take a picture of the portrait for them to be perfectly clear. The portrait is indeed a fascinating mystery. Number 2. Juan Luna's Portrait Juan Luna's portrait of his wife, Paz Pardo de Tavera, is a picture of Paz before bedtime. The woman is in bed, clutching a rosary, and there's a prayer book and a nightstand to her left. So how can a picture that embodied a husband's love end up being the bearer of evil? And how did it happen that the love and bliss in the marriage bed quickly turned into tragedy, with the painter, Juan Luna, shooting his wife in their home on September 23, 1892, just two years after the painting was made. The painting is an undated work in oil now known as the Portrait of a Lady, and is said to carry a powerful spell. It's believed that those who have come to own it over the years have met with terrible misfortunes, from unexplained sickness to bad business to downright death. Historian Ambeth Ocampo wrote in his book, Looking Back, that its first owner, Manuel Garcia, was forced to sell it because his business had gone bad. It was then bought by Betty Bettines, who was met with a tragic road accident in Tongai Te. The portrait then passed through the collection of Tony Zareno, who suffered sudden illness so he sold it to Imelda Marcos, who suffered a miscarriage. In the Luna Hidalgo exhibition catalog, published by the Metropolitan Museum, Imelda donated the painting to the National Museum of the Philippines. The curse is said to have been caused by Juan killing his wife over allegations of cheating. Paz suffered a miscarriage and later their second child died. Juan's paintings weren't able to support the family quite well. The child's death led to household fraught and tension. Paz took a vacation, as was advised by her doctor, but when she returned home, Juan believed his wife was cheating. Paz denied all the allegations, terrified of her husband's rage, and expressed that she wanted a divorce. Convinced his son and wife would be taken away from him, he shot his wife on September 23, 1892. Number 1. Man Proposes, God Disposes Man Proposes, God Disposes is a painting by Edwin Landseer, an English painter, a certainly unsettling art. It depicts two polar bears attacking a ship at sea, as well as the human remains of the crew embarked on a failed expedition, led by John Franklin to the Northwest Passage. The picture hangs in the picture gallery of Royal Holloway College at the University of London. The room is frequently used for exams, and whenever an exam is held, the picture is covered by a Union Jack flag. Not because of any fears of cheating during the exams, but because the students believe that the painting will drive them mad and cause them to fail. The fear of the painting goes a long way in the history of the college. It is rumored that when the college first opened as a female constitution, a student taking an exam was so distressed by the painting that she killed herself while still sitting at her desk. 